everyone and welcome back to our Hape Codrilla Advanced Coding class. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to switch the sequence of two different colors. Listen carefully, because we are going to use this skill a lot in our future courses. Ok, without any further ado, let's start. Firstly, let's read the challenge card, which is junior level challenge number 13. And let's find the corresponding pieces and start to belt. Let's go! Here's our belt. And please don't forget to use the natural pieces to keep the belt horizontal. And also add some accelerators for the pace of the marbles. Now, according to the challenge card, we need to switch the initial sequence of the two marbles from red and blue into blue and red. In our previous classes, we've learned that the seesaw blocks can change the sequence of the marbles. Here we have the red and the blue seesaw blocks. But which one is the right answer? Let's find out through debugging. First of all, we're going to use the blue seesaw. Let's replace the blue seesaw and set the number 0 on the top. Now launch the marbles. We can see that the red marble rolls out of the number 0 and runs through all the way to the collector, while the blue marble rolls out of the other exit, number 1, and just falls out of the turquoise block. So it turns out that the turquoise has an exit on the back side. It seems like this kind of setting of the blue CISO does not work. Then how about setting the number 1 on the top? Is it gonna work for us? Let's try. If the number 1 is positioned on the top, it is not hard for us to imagine that the red marble will roll out of the number 1 and then just falls out of the turquoise block. Clearly, the blue seesaw is not the correct piece. Now, let's try the red seesaw block. First, let's set the number 1 on the top and try that out. We find that when the number 1 is positioned higher, the arriving sequence still remains the same. So in this case, the setting still fails to switch the sequence. This time, let's put the number 0 on the top and let's launch the marbles. Yay, we did it! This time, the red seesaw successfully switches the sequence of the two marbles as required. Again, good job everyone! Now, let's review the challenge together. In this class, we successfully switched the sequence of two marbles with two different colors. During the building, we noticed that no matter which seesaw block is, the blue one or the red one, when the number zero is positioned higher, the marble comes out of the number one, while when number zero is positioned higher, the marble also rolls out of the number zero. So we can draw a conclusion that no matter which side of the seesaw block is positioned higher, the marbles will roll out of that side. This is just a little bit of the seesaw block's magic. Alright, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!